In the meantime, the U.S. is now requiring foreign visitors to be fully vaccinated to be able to cross borders from Canada and Mexico. In the meantime, Washington State, the National Guard there is now helping short-staffed hospitals, nursing homes, and vaccination sites. CBS 4's Michael George reports. The U.S. is now requiring foreign travelers entering from Mexico and Canada to show proof they're fully vaccinated against COVID-19. That could mean slower crossings for trucks transporting goods on the northern and southern borders. As the Omicron-fueled surge continues to cause worker shortages nationwide, Washington State is sending help to a number of hospitals. It's a really welcome sign of relief to have the National Guard here on site. Members of a National Guard unit will work at this employee testing site for a month, freeing from frontline workers to help patients. If they can train us, um, you know, then we can basically be interchangeable parts. So, you know, providing swabbing, admin, traffic control, running trash, whatever they need. As the pandemic closes in on a second year, federal health officials offered glimmers of hope Friday. We're moving toward a time when COVID won't disrupt our daily lives, where COVID won't be a constant crisis, but something we protect against and treat. New York was among parts of the Northeast reporting new case numbers showing signs of leveling off. Trending in the right direction. We're not through the, the surge yet, but boy, those numbers look good. Meanwhile, COVID continues to impact Hollywood. Paramount Pictures, a unit of Viacom CBS and Skydance, say release dates for Mission Impossible 7 and 8 starring Tom Cruise will be pushed back to the summers of 2023 and 2024. Michael George, CBS News.